Hey there, Andy here with Biodynamic. No matter if in live or recording scenarios, drum miking is often thought of as a very complex topic. In this video, I will show you a basic way to mic up a whole drum kit that will work in almost every situation. If you want to learn more about different microphone options and miking techniques, make sure to check out the following videos of this series, giving you an in-depth look at the individual instruments. We prepared a 4-piece kit with a 14-inch snare, a 20-inch kick drum and 10 and 14-inch toms. Let's get started with the snare drum. It's very common to use a top and bottom mic on the snare. While the top microphone features the body and mid-range attack of the snare, the bottom mic brings in the high-frequent definition of the snare wires. We decided to go with the Dynamic M201 microphone on top and the small diaphragm condenser TGD58 as a bottom mic. The frequency responses of these two microphones suit the needs of snare drum miking perfectly. The TGD58 features more high-end compared to the M201, which is particularly strong in the mid-frequencies. We placed both mics a few inches from the rim, facing the center of the drum head. Let's listen to both microphones individually and blended together. Next up is the bass drum. While you want the warm and fat low end of the kick drum, you also need the high frequency attack to push through the mix. A great way is to use two microphones, one for each purpose. In our case, the porthole in the Rezo head allows us to place one mic inside the kick drum and one outside. The TGD71 is a condenser boundary microphone that, when placed inside the kick drum, provides a great attack. The second mic we used is the TGD70, a large diaphragm dynamic microphone that we placed right at the porthole of the Rezo head. These two microphones complement each other perfectly and deliver great and full sound. Once again, let's listen to both mics individually and mixed together. Let's go on with the toms. Just as with the snare drum top mic, the qualities of dynamic microphones meet the requirements for tom mics perfectly. The TGI-51 works great for this and the MKV-87 mic clamp makes placing the mic very easy. Condenser mics like the TGD-57 or TGD-58 also work great for toms. They deliver an area sound and feature a similar clamp for easy placement. For now, let's stick with the dynamic mics. Simply attach the clamp to the rim of your tom and direct the microphone towards the center of the drum head. This is what the two toms of our kit sound like. Now that we have the close mics for all drums in place, let's talk about the overheads. These microphones placed above the drum set basically capture the whole drum kit. Whether you want them to support the cymbals or use them as the basis for your whole drum mix, you'll need microphones that are capable of capturing a wide frequency range, especially featuring high frequencies. Condenser microphones like the MC930 work great for this. The cardioid polar pattern of these microphones allows you to get a very focused signal without too much crosstalk from everything happening around the drum kit. The most used overhead miking position is the spaced pair. The two microphones are placed above the drum kit with an equal distance from the snare drum in order to provide phase coherency. An easy way to match the distance of both mics is by using a microphone cable. Check out the sound of these two microphones. It's very common to support individual cymbals, like the hi-hat, with an additional mic. This will give you the chance to make even soft figures played in this instrument noticeable and place it in the stereo mix. A great mic for this purpose is the M160. The warm sound characteristics of this ribbon microphone work great with the sharp hi-hat sound.
With all microphones in place, it's time to listen to them mixed together. Simply follow these basic guidelines and you'll be able to achieve a great drum sound that will work in most musical contexts. If you want to go into detail and learn more about different microphone types, placement options and how they compare to each other, make sure to check out the upcoming videos of this series. <laughs>